Hello and welcome to Eating Insight, where we get you a 360 degree view of the big picture in business and economy. I am Sridhar Ramakrishnan. On the show today, it's a decade old, but India's e-commerce industry is still struggling. I am Sridhar Ramakrishnan. On the show today, it's a decade old, but India's e-commerce industry is still struggling to take off. What's going wrong? But there are some smart portals that are changing the rules of the game. And Ajit Balakrishnan and Subir Sujan debate what lies ahead in India's internet future. A top story first. Touch and feel is passe. It's the day and age of click and buy. It's estimated that the US alone will have nearly 220 million people, or nearly three-fourths of its population online by the end of this year. That is no ordinary number for retailers because increased online access means more e-commerce. In India, though, e-commerce is moving at a snail's pace. Asha Gopalakrishnan tells you why. Make the world go green with envy. Shop online, get great deals. But Indian consumers are not really buying that. It's all about loving yourself. It's five years since global e-tailing giant eBay acquired Bazi.com along with its one million odd customers. Over the years, its transaction traffic has grown three-folds to over 3.3 million users. That's by far the highest that any non-ticketing e-commerce platform in India can boast of. But eBay is an exception. Analysts say that just 10% of India's 50 million odd internet users transact online. According to online market research company Juxt Consult, last year India had 9 million online shoppers who search but don't buy and just 3.5 million buyers, which means that the lure of good deals could be irresistible. But something's holding the Indian customer back. E-commerce platforms like eBay are working round the clock to figure that out. The attention from consumers is mostly on branded products. They prefer to make their transactions using the fixed price method, which is they want to see the price upfront and they will buy it at that particular price, as opposed to perhaps auctions, which is you know uh, big in other parts of the world. Uh, and they expect a great retail-like experience when they are making this transaction. There are many things that contribute to that experience. The security of the transaction tops the list because consumers don't want to give away personal information online. While buying something, sometimes this kind of insecurity comes in our mind. That suppose uh, there should not be any misuse of our credit cards and all. Certain products like clothes and cosmetics is something I like to touch and feel and uh, you know sense them probably before I buy. We like to compare different products in the physically and then buy the products. One of the reasons is I don't know how to go about it and the other one is uh, there are maybe a misuse of credit cards, debit cards. The RBI is doing its bit to plug this problem. It has mandated that debit and credit card cannot be used online unless the customer registers for online payment with the concerned bank. But it will still take a while before the customer feels comfortable with online transactions. We are always challenged by the offline structure, by the preferences of the brands and other show to the existing offline structure. The offline structure itself is very complicated and they have decentralized inventory which is not the basis of any e-commerce. All these factors basically lead to a, a, a increased, either, a, either an increase in cost, in, uh, cost of acquisition or difficulty in acquisition. Next in line is the off-sited touch and feel factor. Indians are still not used to buying products that they can't personally examine. That's because here the shopping pattern is need-based, unlike the impulsive and deal-driven mentality of shoppers in developed markets. The problem is simple. There's just not enough choice. The absence of a full-blown portfolio of products and services is one of the reasons why it has not picked up. That explains why non-travel e-commerce still accounts for just 12% of India's $2 billion e-commerce industry. If you're getting the same price, but the product, you're not going to be able to walk out of the store with the product. And the chances are it'll come 7 to 10 days, you'll probably have to chase up a couple of times. The right product may come, the wrong product may come, you have to return it. With services, there is nothing really like that. According to Comscore World Metrics, in May this year, Indian Railways was India's leading travel portal in terms of unique users. Amazon topped the list for retail e-commerce, Magic Bricks for real estate, Nokri for jobs, 
and Bharat Matrimony for online matrimony. These numbers are important because so far Indian portals have only concentrated on getting more volumes. E-commerce in India accounts for just 2.3% of retail sales. Compare that with the US where e-commerce accounts for nearly 10% of all retail sales and is an estimated $155 billion industry. The model in America is relationship driven so that existing customers can repeat purchases. India has a long way to go before it reaches there. Primarily because of poor internet penetration and low internet usage. According to BCG, last year the average Indian internet user spent about half an hour a day compared to 2.3 hours in the US and 2.7 hours in China. The levels of penetration of internet uh, and further of broadband are just abysmal. Uh, I think we are all aware that the level of penetration of the internet is just 7%. Only 7% of Indians are online today. Of that, the broadband penetration is actually 0.1 or 0.2 percent. We have got the lowest penetration anywhere in the world in terms of uh, you know our online uh, uh, on, or you know internet uh, uh, registered internet users. So clearly, I think you know till we really increase that size, you cannot you cannot you know the same set of users cannot generate traffic on every potential product and a service. Okay, so there's a lot to be desired. But the good news is that online shopping in India is growing at an average 30% annually compared to just 8 to 10% globally. And that means that the future of e-commerce is looking bright. So which players in India have the zing to keep customers hooked? That and more is coming up in a short while. Don't go away. SpiceJet, India's most preferred airline. So what are news bulletins for you? Stories, views, 